Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve the first five questions of figure it out given on page number 57 and that's of chapter number 3, number play. Color or mark the supercells in the table below. What are supercells? A cell is a supercell if the number in it is larger than its adjacent cell. Right? So now we will color these cells. 6828 is greater than 670. So this is a supercell. And also remember that we cannot have two supercells next to each other. Okay. So if this is a supercell, this cannot be a supercell. Next, 9435. Check the neighbors. Smaller, smaller. That means this is a supercell. This cannot be a supercell. Check this number. This is smaller than this. So this cannot be a supercell. This one is smaller than this. So cannot be a supercell. 8000. Smaller, smaller. And 52 is smaller than this. So that cannot be a supercell. So we have three supercells here. 6828, 9435 and 8000. Question number two. Fill the table below with only four digit numbers such that the supercells are exactly the colored cells. There are three colored cells given here. One, two and three. So we need to fill the rest of the numbers in such a way that these are the supercells and these cells are not the supercells. Okay. So for the first one, 5346, we need a number larger than this. So let's say we write 5585. Okay. So the next cell cannot be a supercell. However, it is between two supercells, right? So you need to write a number which is smaller than both 5585 and 1258. So we can write 1150. This cannot be a supercell. 1108. This is not a supercell. So 4209. This is not a supercell. So we will take a number which is greater than this. 5271. Okay, now let's check this one smaller, greater, right? For this one, smaller, greater. And this is a supercell, so we need to write a number which is larger than this. So let's say we write 9777. 9777. This number is larger than this. So this is a supercell. Question number three. Fill the table below such that we get as many supercells as possible. Use numbers between 100 and 1000 without repetitions. So here we need to fill in the numbers in such a way that we get maximum number of supercells. So let us start writing the numbers. I will write the numbers in increasing order. So I will start with some easy numbers. 200. Okay. Leave one space. 400. Leave one space. 600. Leave one space. 800. And then 999. Okay. So first I have filled the alternate cells. Now what I would do is. I will write a number here such that the number is smaller than both of these numbers. So 200 and 400, 150 is smaller. Okay. This is a supercell because 200 is greater than 150. Now this is a supercell. So we need to write a number which is less than this one as well as this one. So let's say we write 375. Okay, 375. Then we need to write a number here which is smaller than 600 and 800. So let's say 585. Now we need to write a number which is smaller than 800 and 999 here. 
So that would be say 686. Now we will color the super cells. 600 is greater than 375 and 585. So color it. 800 is greater than 585, 686. Both the neighbors. 999 has just one neighbor and it is greater than that. Okay, so this is how you can do it. There is no fixed answer for this. You can write your own numbers. Just make sure that you get five supercells. Question number four. Out of the nine numbers, how many supercells are there in the table above? So in this table, there are nine cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of these nine numbers, how many supercells are there? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five supercells. Question number five. Find out how many supercells are possible for different number of cells. So let's find out. And there is more to this question. It says, do you notice any pattern? What is the method to fill a given table to get the maximum number of supercells? Explore and share your strategy. So first let's find out how many supercells are possible for different number of cells. Here we have two cells, one and two. And we can see that we can have only one super cells here. We can just have one super cell, right? This one. When we have three cells, we can have maximum two. 155 is greater than 100 and 125 is also greater than 100. So this is one super cell, one and two. For four cells, we can have one. This is a super cell. This is also greater than the neighbors or the adjacent cells. So two. So that means here we are going to have one super cell. For this one we are going to have two. And for this one also we are going to have two. For five cells, 725 is greater. So that's a super cell. 825 is greater than 700 and 800. So that's a super cell. And 925 is greater than 800. So here we are going to have three super cells. Similarly here if you see, this is a super cell super cell alternate cells see alternate cells are super cells so here also we have three super cells and then three super cells so here we can use a formula if we have two cells okay two is an even number two divided by two that is equal to one so one super cell here we have three cells odd numbers what you do add one to that that is three plus one divided by 2 that will be 2 okay 3 plus 1 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 then here we have 4 cells for even number of cells just divide by 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 so 2 super cells if it is odd number then you do 3 plus 1 divided by 2 you will get the number of super cells 3 plus 1 is 4 4 divided by 2 is 2 now 5 5 is an odd number, right? So we will do 5 plus 1 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we are going to have 3 super cells. And if it's an even number of cells, 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is a formula that you can use if you want. Otherwise, just remember that we can have alternate cells as the super cells. Okay? We can just have alternate cells as the super cells. So I will show you the formula as well if you want to make a note of it. For n cells, okay, if there are n number of cells and if n is even, even number like 2, 4, 6, 8 like that, the maximum number of super cells is n divided by 2. And if n is odd, like 3, 5, 7, 9, then the maximum number of super cells is n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. So with this we complete the first 5 questions of figure it out. Now next video we shall continue with the rest of the problems. Thank you.